What Suez and Veolia say is, well, we're not doing that anymore. What we're doing now is public-private partnerships, and that is the public keeps control, but we do the delivery, and we're so efficient, and we do such a great job. It's just gobbledygook. It's the same thing. Private delivery on a for-profit basis is exactly the same as if you're running it. The government signs the contract and hands it over to the corporation. That's privatized by any name. If it's walks like a duck and talks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Veolia and Suez came to the United States and they said that privatization would be the wave of the future. And they aggressively went after large cities. They fire half the staff. That's where the economic efficiency comes from that they claim they have. Prices usually double. Buenos Aires, Atlanta, Cochabamba, Johannesburg, Stockton and Felton are only the most famous examples of the successful fight for recommunalization. The reclaiming of the management of water back into public hands is turning into a worldwide trend. Italy, for example. Here it seems a national referendum is successful in preventing the privatization of water intended by Berlusconi, head of the government. Or Germany. Having already had experience with privatization, recommunalization is the trend. As for example in Stuttgart, here the city council decided, with a large majority, to recommunalize the management of water, run by the Veolia-owned EDF, as the result of a civil referendum. In the capital Berlin as well, also through a civil referendum, here, Veolia and RWE had taken over the management through confidential contracts. Have you heard about our civil referendum? You are paying for what the corporations are taking. The most impressive recommunalization wave is however in the home country of the corporations Veolia and Suez. Voila, now we have a publicly run water administration in Paris, after having entrusted it to Veolia and Suez for 25 years. All of the responsibilities regarding water are back in public hands. This is a historic decision for the Water Management Service. In two-thirds of the cities in France, contracts with the private operators Suez and Veolia are simultaneously running out. This is the chance to return to public administration. Alongside of Paris, many other cities will use this chance. Bordeaux, Toulouse, Montpellier, Brest and Marseille, and now also Lille. We've had enough of the eternal price increases. We've had enough of the corruption dominating the private water market. We've had enough of the lack of transparency in water politics. The return to public administration is now a possibility.